Well, we already know a woman will lead the field at Sunday's Indy 500 since former IndyCar driver Danica Patrick will drive the pace car. But in his final Indy 500 preview, Mark Allen says you have to look a little deeper in the field to find the most inspiring story of all. For a moment, all is right with the world. Danica Patrick leading the Indianapolis 500. Danica Patrick across the yard of Rex. 15 car lane separates her from second place, Brian Herta. Women like Danica Patrick, Janet Guthrie, Lynn St. James, and Sarah Fisher have already carved their names in the history books here at the Indy 500. But women will be represented at this year's race unlike ever before. Peretta Autosport is the first team owned and run by a woman with a female driver and a mostly female crew to ever compete in the Indy 500. For team owner Beth Peretta, it's been a six-year journey to travel 500 miles. It's been very emotional. There's been a lot of emotional steps along the way, but honestly, we're just so happy and proud, proud of ourselves, proud of each other, and really grateful for the opportunity to be here to work with Team Penske, to be part of this race for equality and change, and hopefully, ideally, bringing new fans to the sport. The most experienced member of the team is driver Simona De Silvestro, who'll be driving in her sixth Indy 500, but her first since 2015. You know, I just really like like being in an Indy car. You know, every day, like when I was driving down pit lane, I was like, had a pretty big smile on my face because I, I really missed it, and I'm super happy to be back. Of the 30 Peretta team members, 19 are women, and they are engineers, mechanics, even tire changers. And they have spent the last four months training in the early morning hours for a shot at racing history. But all these women have other have full time jobs. So they're fitting this in. I mean, thankfully, the one that has to travel the furthest, furthest can work remotely. So they're training in the gym and training out and practicing their pit stops in the morning and then going to their day jobs. All these women like deserve to be here. You know, they've shown over the last four months that they can do the job. And, uh, uh, you know, Beth uh, created this opportunity and everyone at Team Penske as well. They just, you know, let them in and uh, let them learn from them. A win for this team is unlikely on Sunday, but their victory has just been making the race. And when they take the green flag, they will send a powerful message to young women everywhere. Well, I think the message is, uh, you know, that uh, you can be anyone you want, you know, and, uh, you know, the girls that are working on the car, you know, they, they're changing tires like machines, you know, and, uh, and, and it's awesome to see from that point of view. So I really, uh, really enjoy the experience and I think, uh, yeah, you can be anyone you want. Just, uh, just do the work and, uh, and don't be afraid to go for it. We get a lot of uh, fan mail and, and uh, emails and through all different uh, uh, formats and I think that the most amazing emails that I get are from fathers of daughters who just say thank you because now my daughter can see that anything's possible. At the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, I'm Mark Allen. And you can watch the race live this Sunday at 11 a.m. right here on WDTN and join us for a Countdown to Indy special that's also coming up this Sunday at 1030.